Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs and today's video we are playing some standard Roguelands mini. Enough of the zaniness, enough of the crazy randomized guns, randomized skills. It's the new update, 1.1.0, so it's time for me to go out there with Maya the Siren, my least successful character in all of Roguelands, see what I can do. Alright, a decent start here, we got a Snyder and... And a bandit launcher, I, I do like that. Incendiary resistance, not the best. A Chinook. Okay, we do get our shield. What is this? Oh, it's a longbow singularity, but, but it's, it's fuse time is through the roof. Okay, hoping to get a, a, like a quality gun here. I don't think this bandit LMG is going to get the job done. Cool down rate, perfect relic. Okay, now let's take our jumps up here. Now, our goal, we have gotten one win on Roguelands mini on the new patch with one with axton and that is it so far so i would like to get one win with each character i think i ran a zero run but that it ended pretty abruptly let's go ahead and take i'm a fan, I'm a fan of a lot of these skills i'm gonna go foresight the reload speed and the magazine size should be pretty helpful for us well speaking of reload speed and mag size let's do some tdr chucks 370,000. That Jacobs is probably pretty good. Let's take it. I'm going to do some reload chucks for a bit here. Make sure my inventory is organized. Because I took reload speed and max size, TDR becomes by far the best. Ooh, let's double penetrating hand cannon. Maybe that'll be good too. Let's pick it up. Okay, let's go. Hey, what are you, why, why are you shooting me? Oh, put you up. The hardest enemies to hit in the game are these rats. That's, that's three missed chucks in a row. Four. Look at look how much they move. It's it's actually really obnoxious. Make me waste all my ammo. Look all of my ammo. There we go. You guys do that, and I'm gonna get my Borderlands symbol here. Slag damage makes some sense to me. I still don't have any healing. No healing off rip with Maya. I'm gonna go down the Cataclysm tree. All right, something good to eat here, please. A turtle shield with a 6.02. I mean, it's almost three million shield size though. You take it. Three million shield size is a girthy. Kill this guy before he can react. Oh shoot! There we go. We land a hit. Get you. Not bad. Since you get your your ammo refilled in every round, it's really not so bad to. Oh, okay. We fight for our life, but we live it. Where are you at? I see your red dot. There you are. Good night, homie. Toss a grenade. Put somebody up in the phase lock. Beautiful. Nice. Okay. This round's over. And we get our super speed thanks to the new update, which I like that. Or god mode, as they say. If that's a Snyder, that goes crazy. Um. I think I do want to try it. This pistol seems good, though. We're going to clear out this stage, including getting the... The pressure pad because when you're on t tier one the pressure pads matter a lot come on now let's see what we can do Ooh, is that gonna be multiple nope also pellets on that would have been kind of nice to do our launcher no thank you excuse me <clears throat> excuse me how dare you block me mr icicle whoa a little bit difficult there we go Crowdsourcing Hyperion Shotgun. It consumes three ammo per shot. I can get four shots off on it. Adult SMG. Okay, we do get a coach gun. It's times two. Maybe it'll be good. Okay, it might be good. It's double barrel. You never know. Might not be as good as like a quad or something like that, but it could still be good. Let's see, lob slag bouncing Betty. That's gonna be a better grenade than the one I got now. Ooh, that's a nice Snyder. Let's go ahead and equip that Snyder. Too many good guns to use. All right. So, one point in Helios makes sense to me, and I'm going to do some points into Flicker. That way, my bouncing Betty slag grenades have a much higher chance to slag, and we should have a decent start here. Cooldown reduction, bouncing Betty's for slag. So watch as I throw this bouncing Betty. Hopefully it's got a short fuse time. It will slag up pretty consistently. Especially now that I have flicker. Oh, nice. That was a nice shot. 
Hey, who's back here? Wow, that's good accuracy. Ooh, legendary siren class mod. Cooldown rate and gun damage, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. All right. Put, put one of these cats up. Now we just need a good shield, and we should be booling. The one thing about Maya, though, and this, this is something that I have said on multiple occasions, but it still holds true. So Maya seems to do okay in all these rounds until you get to the the raids in particular but even more specifically the dragon fight because the dragon fight is way harder to avoid the damage you don't have any way to negate it or avoid it on maya diamond thinking i do like the diamond thinking i can fire it eight times development is not what i'm looking for yeah i think we're good with what we got Come bring it on, homies. Come on down. Ooh, I didn't get the kill. Did I get any damage off? A little bit. Heck, that, that accuracy. I've been told that the accuracy on these double barrels is good, and I'm giving it a shot now. A, lo a lobbed shock transfusion makes some sense. Go ahead and toss this bad puppy down. Go ahead and slag up you. There we go. Decent round. Ooh, that's a, that's a nice replacement for my launcher. Beautiful. Two TDR SMGs. I just grabbed one of them. So, I'm going to put one point in each of these skills. So that way I get max efficiency. Cloud kill makes some sense. And then chain reaction. So, max efficiency when it comes to picking up a whole bunch of those bonus skills. Because Legendary Siren Class mod is important to me. A scout and a remnant. Okay. Let's put you up. Let's start, start, let's start tossing some bouncing baddies down. Oh, I really like this coach gun. Let's take a look at the parts in this, because if it's got... Does it have Jacob's grip? It's got tour grip. Okay. A rabbit's gag. Okay. Rabbit's gag. Let's see. Can we get a crit? Yep. There's one crit. No crit there. Keep it going. Oh, nice. The cloud kill comes in handy right there. What you got for me? A twin repeater. That could be decent damage. I'll equip it instead of the TDR SMG. Looks like it's two round burst. Let's see. Shotgun damage. Oh, that makes sense. And corrosive damage. Both of those make sense. Beautiful. Beautiful. Other mods that I'm running are the backpack increasing mod. So, again, my backpack size is 150 right now. I have a slider. I can bring that up and down. But I, I really just like dr having to drop all my stuff all the time. So, that's why I do that. A scout. It's a fire one. I like that. What I'm really looking for is like, if it's a sniper, maybe like a droog or something. What would we get? Oh, wow. Another legendary class bomb. We won't be taking it. Well, the unyielding banshee, something. If we get a B shield, honestly, a, a class mod that boosts our shield recharge delay and rate might actually out deep out DPS a legendary siren. That's no cap. Look at this. That's, that's nice damage on this stall pistol. I know cloud kill does a lot of that, but still. Yeah, cloud kill is definitely doing a lot of that, but hey. And to be honest, boosting up that boosting up that corrosive damage might be more impactful than anything else. Let's slap on a corrosive damage relic. And so many T D R SMGs. Okay, so let's go for chain reaction into Reaper for two. I think that that makes the most sense to me. South Paw, Steam, and Power. So it's Assassin Roof. Roof. The roof. The roof is on. Oh, yes. Already I'm perfect. Cooldown rate is actually 1% better than the one I had before. Let's go. Later, kid. And honestly, that relic down there for Torque fire rate and magazine size, if we get ourselves a peak opener, we'll probably go pretty crazy. Let's start talking, tossing some bouncing betting nades. Oh, we'll take bomber. I gotta take you out. Oh, grenade at my feet. I live. Oh, I, I, I so live those. Let's see what Maya. 
Yeah, that cloud kill plus the Corrosive damage boost. Yeah, it's huge. No one survives that. Beautiful. Oh, a sticky homing transfusion, but the fuse time is a little bit much with only five transfusion grenades. I would like some more. Just a better version. Maybe a longbow. Every time cloud kill procs, we can pretty much guarantee to get a kill. So watch this one shot. Cloud kill does all the rest. Oh, dead. Oh, my shield doesn't even pop because my huge turtle shield. Like that. Start regening. Start regening. Don't take any more damage for a bit. I'll wait. Do we take Mopey's candy? I think I save it for next round. And this time I will remember. I don't think I need it for this round. We'll save it next for next round. It's going to give us extra projectiles when we pick it up, which greatly increases overall damage output. Extra projectiles are some of the easiest ways to get bonus damage. You got Cloud Kill on. Is that going to be enough? Almost. Later, kid. Now you're gone too. A little headshot action. Maybe some Cloud Kill. Okay, so... So... Not... Let's, t let's go ahead and use this bandit launcher because we're going to have we're going to have our extra projectiles for next round anyway. I don't feel bad about using this launcher for this fight. A skyrocket. That's my reward. Ooh, or do we go Juso's candy? I think I honestly think that Mopey's makes more sense. Let's go ahead and shoot ourselves some buckets. Now that we have super speed, this is a lot easier and a lot faster. This is one of the best changes I've... Not only is this one of the best changes, getting this god mode super speed at the end of the round that I've seen in a game, or like I've seen in Roguelands, it's one of the best changes that I've seen in a game, period. It's just... This makes it so much better. It makes the game so much better. Okay. Last bucket. Beautiful. Now we're looking for some decent stuff. Lobbed corrosive transfusion with a 0.6 second fuse time. Again, when we fight the dragons, it's going to be transfusion city. It's all. Ooh, rubberized shock. It's rubberized, though. I don't really care for it. All we're going to really have to back us up is our transfusion grenades and maybe a moxie weapon. That's going to be how we heal. Okay, let's take some Reaper. Little chain reaction, little flicker. The next time we go immolate into ruin. Okay. We'll piece candy at the start of next round. Three, two, one, take. And we get a decent fight to use it as well. Beautiful. So this is going to be Uranus. And the extra, proje extra projectile count is going to make this fight a breeze. Look at that. We could have gotten away with either one, though. We could have used either the Juzos or the, or the Mopey's candy. And both would have been good. And we get punished for cheesing it with not that great loot. We will take a bad touch. But that's all we're taking from this. A little bit sad. I haven't really given an Aquatoss a try. The stats are just so bad. The Buffalo is okay too, but... Okay. Would Diab... His fire rate is 4.3. Yeah, yeah. It's actually really nice. It's gonna be a nice boss shredder. Let's slap it on. And now we can go emulate, 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 ruin. There's a nice go true right there. And then let's start let's start talking about some sweet release, I think. Get some healing going. Okay, Murderlin's Temple. This should be an easy fight. We just gotta make sure that we you got to use something that has some AoE to it. This Bouncing Betty does. I think I might want to use... Let's say a shotgun, but... Maybe Cloud Kill might actually have something for us here. Because if, if Cloud Kill could do some AoE for us, that'd be huge. Put somebody up. I'm surprised that none of these Dwarf Miners become loot... Like this, by the way, this is one of the new updates as well. This this whole round. Pretty sick. Put somebody up. It's just it's just a real it's a pretty fun round to be honest with you. And they all go down at the same time. I love that. Okay. 
Love that a lot. So let's go ahead and grab our reward here. We run inside here, discover that, and then our iridium drops on the opposite side. That is gorgeous. Okay. Max health or cooldown rate? Well, 43% still. It's my highest. Sweet. Release and wreck. We go next. Sanctuary. With our extra iridium that we just picked up, we can actually hit the box for... Like right now, our guns, decent. But we don't have anything that's like... Over the top good. So we're looking for something that we can use. A firestorm or incendiary NASA surprise? No. Thank you. On something decent. Okay. A gub can be good. Come on. Give me something good to eat here. In class mods. I already have a good one. Hmm. Okay. Well. Let's go ahead and just go grenade. Pistol. Launcher. That's all I got. That's all I got. Iridium 4. We really struck out the box right there. Wham, bam. I have a shock weapon. I have a shock weapon. It's not the best. It's a Snyder. Can I use anything else? This rack of shell might be nice, but I think the Snyder will be better. Uh, let's try this. Come on, I believe in us. Alright, so one thing that's nice is that Ruin allows us to guarantee slag this dude. Give me those crits, please. Thank you. Not not terrible. This one not terrible. Ruin. Land the crits. Yeah, that, there's damage right there. Come on. Show me the money. Ruin. Crit. No, stop moving so much. Yeah, we got one. Man, he makes it hard to crit him, doesn't he? Holy cow. Ruin? He doesn't like that. I guarantee you he does not like that. And he goes up. Perfect. So now we can probably go for... This... I want to say this twin repeater might be good for us. Needs to do a little bit more damage than that, though. There we go. Thank you very much. Don't evolve. No evolving in my watch. Those guys are, I'm tossing some grenades out there. Maybe a firestorm would make some sense. I'm not sure how much more damage it would do than my bouncing betty, though. What's my respect on the bouncing betty's name? Is the boss back? Yes, he is. Okay. Hitting crits while I'm also getting hit by other enemies is going to be impossible. This is going to be a, a, a slugfest, a drag-out contest. I'm trying to keep doing damage to him. Keep it up. Keep it up, keep it up. Ruin. We might have to use a transfusion yet. He keeps hitting me pretty hard. I think it might be time to swap to a transfusion. 0.6 second fuse time makes the most sense to me. And it still has six child grenades. Oh, that's tough. All right, let's go ahead and blast him. Toss. Toss. Blast. Get a reload off. I'm taking damage from something. That's right on top of me. I can't tell what it is. Okay. Keep up, keep up the damage. And we are in trouble here. And if we, hopefully a power up might drop for us and we can use that. I'm just trying to get enough damage on this guy, even without crits, because I really don't think we can land a crit. There we go. We do get it, we do get a candy. Okay, huge. Okay, if we get to skip one phase at a time. Oh, a second candy. Let's take this one. Give me this one. Give me this one. Okay, or not. Dang it. Okay, I need to get to that candy, please, if you don't mind. I can't get to it with this guy hitting me over and over again. Okay, now we can toss transfusions out for a bit. 
Transfusions are sick, nasty with the Jolt Stewed candy power up. Keep tossing, keep tossing. Hopefully, we can get him into another immunity phase here with the Jolt Stewed candy active. Then we can use the Mopey's candy to finish him off. Okay. Thank you, Jolt Stewed candy. Appreciate that. Now, where is my Mopey's candy? There it is. Okay, so we take this one. And we wait for the boss to show up. Where are you? It's gotta be momentarily, right? There we go. Yeah, huge damage. Huge damage. Fight over. Yes, let's go. Use those candies to our benefit. That's why they're there. Good round. Another class mod. Another legendary siren. Holy cow. It's got higher gun damage by 3%. I take that. I think it's slightly better. Uh, what do we get? A Florentine or a Lobdo negative? Hmm. The Florentine's a good weapon, and I think it'll get us through the next bit. The next bit. So I think we do take it. I know we don't have a legendary cat class mod to boost up my SMGs, but with Accelerate or whatever this one, whatever this, I think, yeah, it is Accelerate, right? Yeah, we get some extra bullet speed. I think it'll be worth. I think it'll be worth. Let me know how you guys are feeling about the, the I have a, a farming series up right now where I'm farming the King's Call. And Borderlands 3. I like playing Borderlands 3. I think it's really fun. But it doesn't have Roguelands, you know. Roguelands is, is still goaded. I think trying to do too much of the full... Oh, SMG damage plus 32%. I think we take. I think trying to do too much of the, the full randomized, that it, it, can, it can definitely get tricky over time. That's for sure. Any legis? No. Okay, so we got this Florentine. It's not, the Florentine isn't the highest damage. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I know this. I don't know this. Oh, come on. So wait, it's it's fl it's floppy floop. Straight. Floppy. That's what it is. So it's floppy floop. Straight floppity. I gotta remember that. And it starts on the right hand side. It, they made it easier. Like that, it used to be so much harder. Okay, so the chest on tier two is up there this time. It's no longer up there. Okay. To get up there, I believe you just have to climb this rock. This one. Nice. Get me up there. Beautiful. No, wouldn't it be a bad pushka if it comes down to it if we get Terra Morvis or something okay last chest and we roll out I think SMG damage makes the most sense even more than say corrosive damage maybe cooldown reduction is slightly better but I want to I want to keep that that burst damage going I'm not going to get scared by any mimics it's not going to happen oh you thought you were going to scare me so you gotta let the mimics know that you're not scared before they find you. Here we go. That's why we brought, that's why I brought the Florentine. The Florentine, again, not the highest damage weapon, but it gives you shock. It gives you slag all in one source. No, it's not gonna be anything like the Sandhawk, but it's 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 still good, I think. Nice. Okay. Thank you, Cloud Kill. Try to land those crits. Okay, Mimic. Not this time, huh? Hey, Ultimate Badass. Okay. Toss me. Toss an eight at him. That's a, that's really not bad damage. That's about two thirds of his HP on a phase lock, and then then we take him out after. I like that. A skin customization. You gotta be kidding me. 
I'm not here for skin customizations. See if I can land some crits on him. Yeah, about the, about the same. Two thirds of his HP. While phase lock was going. Ooh, that shock's hurting me. All right, man, make him ready for you. Mmm, they, they, they're hiding. 100% hiding. Okay. Vault symbol me. Deputy's badge is, is something we always are willing to take. Meridium. Right, this one's guaranteed mimic. Guaranteed mimic, I just know. You would. It's always when I'm ready for the mimics that they don't spawn. It's when I'm just like relaxing. They, they jump scare me. Like literally jump scare me. Don't speak to me. Okay. Okay, we only need one more kill. So let's just shred this guy down. And then bada bing, bada boom. We're through. Anything up here? Not really, not really. Okay. Open and back up. No mimics on this whole stage. Understood. Anti-faction. I am an anti-faction guy. It's a it's a pearlescent grenade. Look at that bad Larry right there. That's nice. Okay. Our five points are going to go into some middle tree. Yeah. Sweet release and wreck. And then we go mind's eye. We go next. I would like to get the the shield skill up higher, but we'll put you up. Use the extra fire rate to shred you. Where are you at? Right there. These these enemies are a little bit less tank. Whoa. Burst into flames. What was that? I'm not sure. I believe the anti faction Yeah, it 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 spins around and shoots other grenades out. So let's go ahead and try to slag this guy. There. He should go down now. Don't let this powder monkey get me. Love that. Love that. Ooh, an upgrade. Look at that. Very nice. Always like to see upgrades on your launchers. Get our wreck going. Look. Oh, yeah. That fire rate's insane. The fire rate goes down and we don't have our actions kill active. That's because of wreck. All right, Buccaneer, are you going to deflect my bullets or what? No deflection, huh? And then you're not going to get a chance to reflect because I have my action skill. Just look at that. Later, kid. We are absolutely zooming through this zone. That guy survived my anti-faction grenade. Put him up. Yeah, that should kill him. Maybe not. We'll, we'll shoot some bullets at him. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Is anybody home? There we go. Get some chain reaction going. Or kinetic reflection, I should say. Fault symbol me. Guess there is none. Well, there, there might be some, but I don't know where they are. I think mind's eye makes some sense. And then I like sustenance, personally. And then we'll go down the life tap. I like the middle tree for the for its defense. The, the extra healing and, and all that is nice. Later, kid. Oh, this is the one element that I don't have much of, but cloud kill should come in handy. So again, I I have shock, slag, and corrosive all in one gun right now because of cloud kill plus Florentine combo. The only thing we're missing is fire, but most of the time you can burn through flesh damage enemies relatively quickly anyway. You, but usually flesh damage enemies are high damage range enemies, so they can be very tricky. Found you. This Florentine is ripping tier 2 apart. I love it. Love it. Yeah, imagine... Imagine you could play this roguelite on Borderlands 3. Like, oh my gosh. It'd just be so nice. Just have some, some sectioned off zones. But honestly, I don't know if it would be better than, than just running on Borderlands 2, to be honest. Loco? Ain't gonna happen. I wonder, if I just take one shot, 
What? Does it do more shock or does it do more slag? It does way more shock. Okay. So the Florentine does more shock than does slag. I think the slag is more of like an after effect. It's more of a, a shock SMG. Understood? Beautiful. How can you not like that? Yes. Four more kills required. I'm a little bit less stressed about getting the pressure pad on this map because it's tier two and tier two pressure pads are not quite that great. Tier three is when the pressure pads start becoming very, very good. Who's shooting at me? I'll find you. Sheriff's badge is always a nice get. A sheriff's badge. I'm not sure which one's better, but we can always check that out later. Let me up. Let me up there. Let me mantle. <laughs> There's no mantling in Borderlands 2. So I wish there was. Slayer kiddo. And one more. Ironclad. Assistant Slay the Spire. You ain't healing six health after this one. You can trust me on that. All right, fine. I'll do a reload. You ain't healing six health. That's for sure. Okay, so. Sustenance. Life tap. And I don't really like Scorn. I think Scorn's decent. I don't think it's that great. If you're already running Reaper, I don't really see a, a major point in it. But. Let's take my, my new route here. I just, I like climbing up here first. Let's start, make sure we shoot the Badonkadonks. Tiny Tina's Bombs, little Badonkadonk. Okay. Put up the flesh eating rat. Later, kiddo. Ooh, get hit by that barrel, homie. Nice. We have a shock damage weapon. Hopefully, they can shred through this guy pretty quickly. Love to see it. Mad Dog, what's up, homie? Oh, I'm, I'm getting a get burned. I forgot that I have my grenade. Well, I'm stuck, actually. I'm not sure if I can get out of here without dying. It's my anti action grenade. Ooh, mistake made. I survive it, though. Hopefully, these grenades can do some big deeps. UT at Lab Rat. These guys can one-shot me. I gotta be really careful around them. Beautiful. All right, Mad Dog, what'd you drop me? What did you drop me? Uh, a blockhead is kind of good. Not really for... For Maya, but for other characters, I would say. Like Axton with the grenade damage scaling. Because the blockhead's one of those random weapons that just gets grenade damage scaling and the game doesn't tell you it. You just have to figure it out on your own. For one point, I think Scorn is good. And then we'll go Ward. Show me the money! There's Bunny there, or... Bomb number two. Pick up some Grenage. That is lovely. Okay. Second to last red chest, and then we also will be getting the last bomb. Our shield leaves a bit to be desired right now. Yes, it's a massive shield. We have over 3 million shield, but... Last bomb right there. But its delay is just insane. All Pushkas, no, no Droogs. Okay, shoot the big bunny, get our rewards. Adaptive shield, 2.13. Hmm. Is it better? I don't know. Ooh, oh, it's a zero point. It's a rubberized though. Goat. Hmm. I don't know. I think I'd rather have my shield. Is my... My ward skill is percentage based. Meaning that the higher my delay, the more value I get from that skill. Okay. We got the anti faction on him. Go ahead and scorn over the top. Also, ruin. Like that right there. But this enemy is immune to shock. I think I might switch over to this something simple like this doll repeater. Just start, just start DPSing. We don't need to use the Florentine or anything like that. S scorn over the top. 
Love to see it. Love to see it. I'm just going to use all my grenades here because I can't use them on the last guy anyway. Okay. You go down. This is gonna, it's a pretty quick fight so far. I think the anti-faction helps with that a lot. I want to swap off the anti-faction because I think all these enemies are immune to fire. And I'm going to go for the rubberized shock transfusion. Flag over the top. Let's kill one. I'm not sure what I'm killing one for. Actually, I can I can use these guys. I can put one up to give me the extra fire rate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful. We're doing pretty good here. I don't have any grenades left though, so I gotta be careful how much damage I take. My shield is yet to really be in danger. He might die quickly. I need to make sure DPSing boss and D boss goes down. Pretty s simple run so far. But again, that is kind of Maya's thing. With Sandhawk. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and equip that Sandhawk. I don't know how good the parts are. But they can't be that bad. Beautiful. Okay, the Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, or I, those are some really terrible options, to be honest with you. Okay, so, I like Ward, and I like Suspension. Run around and grab my stuff. That fight can usually be pretty challenging, especially on Tier 3, so I'm happy to get it now, and I'm also happy that I kind of ran, ran straight through it. Okay, here we go. Let's kill some snowmen. I need to get my anti-faction grenade out here. This will be a great round for anti-faction. These guys are going to get melted. Oh. Wow. That was... That was melt. Right there. That was absolutely melt. Okay, so... Here, if you check these lamps... You can find the token of giving. There it is. Find the token of giving and all these chests spawn. So I'm just going to run around in a circle. Open them all up. See if we get anything good. A sticky homing slag transfusion with 3.2 second fuse time. I skip. Oh, uh, you managed to stay close. Give me a legendary. How could you? You also managed to stay closed. Would have never thought in a million years. Hey, nothing. Ooh, we could go... Wow, this one's just better. That's a nice relic. It's nice to get relics. Now, during these rounds is when you can get some decent relics. Converge is amazing. Let's go... Inertia. And then when we head out... It's time for a tier three raid. The first thing I'm going to do is throw my grenade outside the zone. First thing I'm going to do is max out my SMG ammo and then I get two pulls of the box. Come on, don't let me down now. B shield. Deepa? No. Okay, Slaga is good. Very good for slagging. Uncapped Herald's good. B shield me. Black hole impaler. Okay, I would, I would say, man, the impaler is nice. Deals damage back to people who hit you. I'll take them both and we head out. Let's let's see who we get. Okay, it's Terramorphous. Terramorphous. I think it's going to be Sandhawk. SMG gun damage makes some sense. Okay, let's try it. I'm not sure how much we can get done with the Sandhawk. We can try our best here. It's going to be a tough fight, I think. Maybe the anti-faction will be good for us. I, I know I'm going to be swapping to a transfusion. 
Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is check to see how much damage this anti-faction does. If it's doing good damage, I'll keep it. If it's not doing good damage, I swap the, I swap the transfusion. Simple as that. All right, so chuck a decent grenade. That was right on target. How's it doing? Terramorphous resists grenade damage, and that didn't do that much damage. I'm going to go to a transfusion here. I'm going to go for a lob corrosive. Slag him. Hey, don't hit me. Okay, we got him. Got about 20%. We can slag anything in the game, which is super nice. Go ahead and throw our scorn ball. And even though Terramorphos doesn't stay slagged for that long, we still get a little bit of damage. Go to destroy that tentacle. Destroy that tentacle, hopefully. Not quite. Oh, here comes Terra. Maybe I can land a crit or two. Halfway there, halfway there. Hey, what are you doing over here, Terra? Wait, this is gonna hit me hard. I need my shield to start recharging. It stopped. I took damage somehow. Having a nice fast shield is so nice. There we go. That one, that one looks like it's dead. Oh, don't get hit. Nice. Ruin. Crit me. Pretty decent fight for us. Okay, no, as long as he doesn't go for like 13 different slaps, I should be fine. Okay, there's one slap. He's only going for one slap at a time, which is extremely good. Give me a kill on that, laddie. Get some life tap, get some inertia. Scoring over the top. Terror Morpher should be going down here. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I got hit. I'm getting hit pretty hard. Don't go. Don't, don't, don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Oh my gosh. That was a close one. That was a close one. Oh, what is that? Deliverance. Okay. A lob slag. Oh, negative. Yes. That's like best in slot grenade for me. Huge. Okay, our build is definitely coming together now. Gonna rank, don't you dare speak to me. A lot of the Seraphs makes a ton of sense. If I'm gonna be going for like healing regen. I don't know. It just makes sense to me. I got all SMGs, holy cow. Ooh, a quad. I'll take it just in case I need it, but I don't think I will. Okay. Let's roll out. It's time for tier three. The forest. Good. An easy minigame that I know exactly the answer to. Money. So no B shield, but we have a lot of chances to get the B shield in tier three. Hopefully we can find it. If not, it's no big deal. Because honestly, I'm not sure how much it'll do for us anyway. Now, if there's a hidden chest, I mean, this, I think this is the hidden chest right here. Yeah. Ooh, a conference call. It doesn't look like it's that good of a roll. Let's pick it up and see. Pick it up and see. It doesn't seem like that good of a roll, but it's still a conference call. Which is nice. Like that. B shield okay so now that i have a conference call i definitely want to be i can go b hawk i can go b conference call we got some robots i'm gonna put this guy up they go conference call thank you for helping me out here scoring over the top 
Oh, I'm in trouble here. Keep it up, though. Keep up the damage. Keep up the damage. Oh, I can't score on quite yet. Nice. Okay. Keep it moving here. I'm going to... Climb. I know that there is a... Oh, I really fell. Maybe I can use this. I know that there is something I want right there. I'm going to try to climb this bad puppy and jump. Perfect. All right. B shield me. You owe me game. Kazar or world burn. World burn is nice for getting back up. Take a mouthwash. Is it, is it world burn? I think it is. Hey guys. Sorry. There we go. Oh, rabbit skags. Ow. I might have doomed myself right there. No, I'm completely fine. Go ahead and reload my world burn, then not use it again for a bit. Beautiful. Sandhawk me. Not doing that much damage, especially now without a B shield. There we go. Easy enough. I, again, tier tier th tier two, tier three. It shouldn't be that big of an issue. What? Oh, dang. No B shield. What's going to be an issue is that dragon fight. Let's go for inertia. Quicken. Plus six wreck, plus five accelerate might be better, but I'm not gonna go it. I'm gonna stick with my siren class mod. It gives me it gives me a little bit more flexibility. Badass crater of badassitude. Let's go. Oh, what are you doing? Here we go. Lost myself a lobdo negative. Scoring over the top. Maybe even a little bit of phase lock for your life. Oh, who who you think you're charging at, homie? Okay, never mind. You got to head off. Respect. Why the guy's got shotguns? Why would he knock me away and then use his shotguns? Beautiful. Gotta love the conference call when you get a chance to use it. Really, no slag on that guy. That's why I don't like scoring as much. Don't hide back there. Go. That's why I do not like scoring as much. I don't I don't know if I know where the pressure plate is on this map, and I really want to find it. I, the B shield is I wouldn't say absolutely required, but it's it's pretty important, I would say. We have a lot of health regen. Hopefully we can make it work here. Okay, I got blown up by something. Yeah, I'm in trouble here. Going down. This guy should be at one health over here though. Go. Don't get hit by that, laddie. Okay. Back it on up. How much does this Florentine do? Not a whole lot. How about the Sandhawk? Decent, a decent chunk. Decent chunk. Beautiful. Scorn. Like that should auto slag. Like I'm, I'm literally have a capstone set just for it. Okay. And I don't mind going down the middle tree because I really don't want thought lock or anything like that for my action skill. I much prefer just standard phase lock. Nice. Okay, so I am going to look around here and see if I can find the pressure plate. Up here. I don't think I have found this might be one of the ones I haven't found. I don't get to fight here that, that often. But now I'm stuck. Okay, I'm good. So I have to open, the, open up the chests along the way. 
I know where the vault symbol is, but not the pressure plate. They like to be sneaky, really sneaky with where they put them. So let's grab this vault symbol and then I might pause the video and come back when I find the pressure plate. Oh, found it. Nice. B shield me. You owe me game. The infection cleaner, Tunguska. I like a Nirvana. Legendary Siren Class mod, same stats, okay. Well, I guess the game doesn't owe me. Could go with Tunguska, but I kind of like World Burn. Whoa, I'm off the edge. A Sherame or a Twister? Let's go Twister. All right, quicken me. And now it's Inertia. It's Ward. It's Accelerate. We're getting to that point where we don't have a lot of points left to put into stuff. Okay. Don't want that breath of the Seraphs, unfortunately. Uh, let's roll. I believe we have one more round to find ourselves a, a B shield, at least from the pressure plates. I do not know where the pressure plate is on this map. I'm going to have to look for it again. You go up. Then you go down. One at a time. Okay. Good. This is the map where you actually get the Sandhawk. This, the Sandhawk comes home to its DLC. I have a lot of healing. I have about as much healing as you can get without having a Grog Nozzle. So... It's gonna work ever. This is the run. I'm gonna need to invest a little bit in grenade SDU, I think, before dragon fight. Let's put myself some more grenades. And just running Sandhawk. And there's lots of guns that do work in Rogue Lands. So you don't need to find a Sandhawk to make it work, but getting one's quite nice. Put you up. Again, you don't have to see what you're aiming at if they're inside phase lock, you know what I'm saying? Lost me. Put me up. Scorn over the top. Game reaction. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so. Let's think about this. If I was a pressure plate, where would I be? They like to be super sneaky with them. Getting some high ground to see if I can spot it from afar. Oh, wow. Look at those slag pools. Maybe it's like back here or something. A pretty dark map. Should be able to find it relatively easily if I can get close to it. Oh, red chest. I can't get under there. Okay. Come on. I need to find this pressure plate. So what I might do is I will... I will pause here and I will meet up with you guys when I spot the pressure plate. I'll see you in a second. Oh, in the midst of looking for the pressure plate, I actually did find the vaults and bolts on this building right here. Boom, right in front of the door. Beautiful. Might the Seraphs and another mouthwash. Okay. Operation find the pressure plate is still a go. Okay, so I see it over there. I wonder how we get there, but it's chilling on top of that rock. Maybe I gotta climb this ladder. Open up. What secrets do you have inside? Coach gun. Uh, no. So the pressure plate is over here on top of a rock. It's right there. I think I've gotta drop the ass. Got it. That's easy money. B shield me. You owe me. The cradle. Really? Huh? A world burn. Is it better than mine? No. It's not. Lower damage. Lower. Lower. We could go... We could go Flacker. It looks like we're not going to be getting the B-Shield at all. Unless, of course, we get lucky and get it from a reward or like maybe an ethereal gift box or something, but... Oh, Assassin Oni, how could you do this to me? All right, let's go ahead and shoot some oil cans. Later, kid. Go ahead and start tossing my slag tools. Oh! Run for my life, run for my life, run for my life. Make an opening. 
M wow, my shield popped off right there. Juked. Welcome to Juke City. Population you, homie. Oh, I'm gonna get whacked. Yep, I'm gonna get whacked again. Go for crits. Go for crits. Land crits. That's good deeps right there. Sorry, Creek. Sorry to do it to you. You put me down, but I'm gonna get right back up. You put me down, but I get up again. Later. Toss. I also have Scorn. I'm trying to get it through this window. Yeah, wow, what a toss. And I also have... Man, this is just... It's the Mage Maya build. It goes nuts. Okay. We'll put you up. Using uh, using uh, every tool at our disposal here. Sandhawk's doing the, probably the most single target damage. We keep it up. Okay. No props for in a while. I don't really want to fight Oni without having that much single target damage. But okay, you know what? I didn't want to have to do it, but now you got to go up. Okay, here we go. Bring on Oni. He's gonna have a million of these little. These little guys come after me. Okay, Scorn up over the top. Go ahead and blow. Wow, they actually hit me. That's crazy talk. I don't know how long it's going to take to kill this guy, but it might be a little bit. Maybe my anti faction grenade can help me out. Run. I'm gonna try it. Let's go anti-faction. Okay. Where are you at? Found you, Oni. And what we're gonna do is we're going to throw a couple grenades at his feet. And just pray that they can do some deeps to him. Where is he at? I can't see him. They're, they're, they're helping, right? Surely? That's not bad deeps. Yeah, it's not bad deeps. Not bad deeps. I'm scorn over the top. Can't even really see him that well. There we go. Oni's, Oni's going down. Beautiful. Beautiful. And I also want to... I want to shoot some oil cans. One. Two. What you give me? Rough Rider. Hmm... You know, the Rough Rider does actually make some sense. I'm gonna go it. I am gonna go it. Okay, so. Blast you. That's my final oil can. I'm not even gonna risk running over there for those two red chests. Sorry. Not gonna do it. Okay, what do you got for me? Okay, a Plasma Caster Fire makes a ton of... Plasma Caster Shock makes a ton of sense. Okay, so legendary binder, legendary cat. Ooh, wow. Okay. I think legendary cat makes the most overall sense. But we need to do a respec. A respec because now, since we never have our shields up, we don't need ward. That's a, that's a waste. My first point was wasted. It's a good thing we got started with a wasted point. And so let's accelerate. Suspension, Fleet, Converge, Inertia, Quicken. Beautiful. My, this tree matters a lot now. Sweet release. I'm going to do Elated and Sustenance and Life Tap. It's all the healing we can possibly get. But I don't have enough to get all the way down to Ruin, so we're going to have to start making decisions here. Yeah, we're gonna have to start making decisions. So the first thing we're gonna do is get down to Ruin. Flicker, Cloud Kill, Chain Reaction, Reaper. Immolate for a couple. Beautiful. Mind's Eye for one. Let's do Mind's Eye for one. Sweet Release for four. Wreck for five. 
elated for five, sustenance for five. Stop there. Accelerate, suspension, fleet, converge. Actually, don't need inertia. It does give me reload speed. I don't really need reload speed because I already have a whole bunch coming from Foresight. Let's go quicken. There, it's, that's a little bit more efficient than last time. Now we can come back and clean up our skills that we want. Life tap, scorn, life tap, mind's eye. I like that a lot better. It's a mixture of defense and offense. Let's do it. And it all revolves all around. And let's go for this fight. Let's, let's go for our plasma caster. We should have a decent plasma caster for this. It's dull, but let's see how it does. Okay, let's see. It's doing okay. We're doing a lot better. What if I... Whoa, whoa. I'm dying to my own grenade. Okay. I need to, I need to get a kill here. There. Oh, I'm back up. I'm back up. I'm back up. Kill me with my life steal. Thank you. I like where we're at. We, got a, we do have a lot of HP regen, and let's go ahead and slap back on our our slag O negative. That's a big part of our regen. Beautiful damage. This cat class mod coming in handy. I'm pretty sure. Massive damage. Phase lock. I wish I had something else to phase lock, but here we are. Scorn. I leave my shots a tiny bit here. Ruin. I think it's his actually it's his crotch that is this critical point. Yeah. Go for that. Put something else up, like that gun loader. Gives us the, the fire rate we need to kill Wilhelm. Beautiful. Alright, Wilhelm. He does give me a candy, but it's not going to be useful. Give me that iridium. Okay. What you got for me? How about a... Electric chair makes some sense. I'll take it. Oh, I thought that might have been... A... Oh, what it... No, it's a fire bee. Man. They're faking me out with these. Okay, let's roll. We'll collect my rewards first. Bee shield. Hector's paradise. You know, Hector's Paradise does... I think I can, I'll use it to bring down a dragon. Ooh, okay. So we've had our fun up to this point. We got one more. We got one more of these rounds. And we should have a decent build for it. Here we go. 22 out of 30. Beautiful. So now a token of vitality to right as you can see right here. Look, there's no Miss Moxie's vendor. Okay But if we find the token of vitality, which I Don't know exactly where it's at, but I have found it before so I'm confident I could find it again Oh, mr. Token Bring me a dream Where did it go? And this is one of the ones that I have found. I don't think it was that hard to find. Where, where do we? Is that it right there? No. I, I, I'm not afraid of pausing and coming back. I thought I might be able to find it relatively quickly. Okay, yeah, I will I will pause it and I will come back once I do find it. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so I did find it. It's over here if you look at these the triple barrels right here. So you press that, and then when you press it, I believe a Miss Moxie's vendor is supposed to spawn. It's happening I've gotten it to spawn before. Okay, so yeah. We we place your iridium here, then the gate opens, which Taking 100 of my iridium is tough. The gate opens up to a Miss Moxie's vendor and they give you back some iridium? No, they don't. 
So let's go shopping. Being a little bit, a little bit fickle here. Spamming it. Okay, so. Oh, we do get, there are grog nozzles in here. Beautiful. So we are going to be buying a grog nozzle. One with a larger magazine size. 12 magazine size. Let's take that one. Beautiful. We are going to go grog. And we're going to be spamming this grog nozzle to heal us as we try to kill these, these dragons. Let's roll. Oof. Okay, dragon fight, dragon fight. We can do this. Let's go ahead and max out our Grenage. Max out our Grenage. I, I have enough for two pulls of the box. What you got for me? Okay, we will take this Norfleet. That's a, that's a nice find. And now we take Launcher all the way. Beautiful. We can use this Norfleet now. As potentially our primary weapon of choice against these lads. The number one thing we gotta do is bring them down and heal. Heal is a big part of this. I've only ever gotten one win with Maya ever in Rogue Land, so this is my chance. Okay, so back to Grog immediately here and use our fleet speed. Use our fleet speed. Hopefully not take damage. Try to get them all to miss an attack if we can. Okay, you don't... This guy never misses. He never misses. Okay. Is this guy going to land or no? Doesn't look like he is. He is landing. Okay, cool. So, let's go ahead and try to... Stop slowing me down. Thank you. Just try to north lead him up a little bit. Okay. Got our, we got our Grog back out. Which is nice. Okay, we got blue down on the ground now. Let's north fleet him out. Good, good north fleet damage, good north fleet damage. Very good stuff. Blue is down to a, 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 a low half. Oh no! Fire, fire, come on. No! There's no one alive! No, come on! Live, live, live. This fight is way too hard on this character. Come on, live. No, and we don't live. Oh my gosh. I was shooting the grog nozzles as much as I could, but I was not throwing my transfusion grenades. Oh man, that's a tough loss. But we had a good time, a really good time. I think that we came back to this fight with the same gear and we played it better, we would have, I think, definitely gotten that win. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to see more videos like this one, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!